Hi guys, it's you. Music Clues here. Hey, subscribers. It's Ethan here. <sighs> okay, so me and Ethan had just gotten back from Frozen. And, well, you're going to be shock shocked. From, uh, you can probably tell by the thumbnail that me and Ethan were honestly blown away by this one. Don't offense to the fans of the first one. Please don't hate us. Well, okay, so, you know... For those, who, for those who don't know, one of my unpopular opinions in Ethan's, although I'm pretty sure we all sh a lot of people share this one, we didn't like Frozen 1. Well, there's a certain reasons why, like, let's say something about that, there's a few songs from that film, not the second film, the first film, that is overplay too much. Yeah, like, do you want to build a stone, man? That wasn't able to play, but... The one song's name, which we will not mention because it drives me and Ethan literally up the wall. It's even worse than, you know, one singer who sings that one song. It's worse than that. And that'll work. I'll give you a hint. J.B. That's it. Yes, J.B. That's it. And he's a musician. But, uh... Frozen 2 ended up blowing us away. Of course, since the movie did just come out, we can't really spoil it. We could say how it went and what we thought of the uh, action, the plot, the music, obviously, and the characters. That's it. So, oh, so first of all, let's go over the music, since that's probably the least spoily ish ish of it. Yes. So, so the music, well, I gotta admit, the opening song was amazing. Yes, yes. Well, let's say, let's say there's more songs into that. They were, they were just fantastic. They were just stunning. It, and I'll tell you this, though. Do not hate my comment for this, okay? There's a few songs in that film. I gotta tell you this. As a truth, as a YouTuber, with MC here, I like those songs more than the film from the first one. And that's coming from me. It, he's being honest, guys. So, um, For example, Into the Unknown, which we heard before the movie, I can speak about that one at least, was played at the beginning of the film, uh, and I really loved it, loved it. Loved it. I had not heard heard. I maybe only heard a snippet snippet of it, but it is a pretty good song. Song. If you guys want to hear the sound whole soundtrack, I'll leave a link below in the description, and you can go check out sound uh, uh the soundtrack on Spotify where the whole movie soundtrack that you hear for all the scenes, and then the whole soundtrack of the songs are all there. Yep. Um. As for the characters themselves, Elsa, Anna, Kof. Um, Sevlin and Oaf were all back for this adventure. I really loved, lo loved seeing um, how the characters interact with each other, how much they care for one another. Yep. And finding out the truth, I, I mean, mm, I mean, finding out secrets from the past. Yeah. I know, guys. I know. You think it's a little spoily. But honestly, we're just going for little snippets. Yeah, we're trying to not be so spoilish. I will say when I got to when we got to the scene where we saw for the first ever reveal trailer, trailer of the movie, I was blown away by it. It was probably one of the best best scenes I've seen from it. Yes, I know. And uh, I'll tell you this, guys. Normally, when I see sequels of the Disney, some of them are just. There's a few of them I like, like Toy Story 4, Incredibles 2. Toy Story 4, you might get a couple people saying, eh. But, <laughs> yeah, Incredibles 2 is pretty much agreed upon. Yes, um, I mean, well, the people go, nah, nah, because they're used to nostalgic Toy Story. Of course they're going to be used to it. Well, uh, I'll, I'll say it back at you for Toy Story 3. Same to you on that. Yeah, Toy Story 3, by the way. Absolute garbage! <laughs> Same to you on that, peeps! <laughs> not not to their subscribers, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, we offended you. Uh, 
Uh, anyways, ways, but uh, yeah, so it was very interesting and fun to see see uh, how the characters interact. Although I feel bad for Paul Kelf. I'm not gonna spoil why, but if you guys have been following the relationship between the merchandise and the books and the shows uh, and the shorts and for for uh, Fo and Fever and all that, then you probably know what I'm implying. Playing, but poor guy. Poor guy. That's all I can really say without going into spoiler territory. Yeah, so, I mean, I'll say, though, songs were actually fantastic. The plot, not so bad. Not so bad. Could be a little better, but uh, I'm not going to knock it for what it is. Uh, so, um, let me see. No characters. Characters are fine. Uh, let me see. Now, the action. Now the reason why Ethan, one of the reasons that Ethan uh, harshly criticizes movies sometimes is if they have little to no action. As you know, no, Ethan has played a lot of Fire Emblem, and the reason why he likes the series so much, well, one of them, is because he likes action type stuff. That's the reason why Ethan's been criticizing the last couple Star Wars movies because there's been well, okay, so there were some actions on the. On the latest gen Star Wars, but what I can see with these latest Star Wars now, they're not the Star Wars I remember. That's not the ones I remember. Oh, well, you see, okay, okay, but there's just few things that I saw from the last couple of films before the TV show and the game came around, okay? M like, not talk about the latest TV show or the game or anything. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the latest gen movies. So, okay, so... If you want to know my opinions about all the latest gen Star Wars, not the last six ones, the latest gen ones. Before TV show Star Wars Medallion came around, and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which is I live stream recently, last week. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we'll make a separate video for that later, and when I do, I'll link it up here, so you guys can take a listen to what Ethan has to say about those latest gen Star Wars. Warning, might not be for the faint-hearted, or for those who do really like slash love those movies. Just the warning. Yeah, so, okay, so, I, I guess I'll just get over so that way they don't bother me with those opinions of mine. <laughs> Uh, but we'll get back to that out in a different video, buddy. Alright, anyways, continuing on with Frozen 2, uh, so one of the, uh, so what, uh, so Frozen 2 had a lot of action, which led to Ethan liking it a lot more than the original. Not that the original didn't have action either, it did, but it was more of a, okay, hey, I still have a spoiler on the channel, so it was more of a, Finding your sister type thing, which is more of a girl type type story than uh. Ah, guys, well that's uh, well that's obvious, but again, sorry if it's too spoily for you. Yeah, uh, but uh, it uh again, that's why I even like this mo one more. Yeah, there was there was something in there or just catch my mind, and well, the songs did bring up the bring up the. The light to me. Yeah. Um, and the animation? Well, it's Disney. So obviously the animation was great. Oh, come on. The, the, the animation is not that terrible. I mean, come on. It's good. Alright, now for the moment you've been all, all been waiting for. Our opinion. Our personal opinions. Yep. Okay. So, now I should warn you that Ethan normally never rates a princess movie. movie. There's very few that he likes. Very few. Uh, so, this is one of the very few that, and um, it's been a while since even, e even then, since Ethan's made one way high. <laughs> so, tell me your opinion, bud. Alright, you wanna know something? The film I'm giving it to for this film, they really impressed me this time. And the rating will be 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Yes, you heard Ethan. 8 out of 10. That's not a normal rating for a princess movie that Ethan would normally not watch. Okay, okay, so, okay, I'll tell you something, guys. Okay, at first, I was like, this is me, and this is me, 
before this film came around, this is me. Please, Disney, make this better than the first one. Please, please, please. And look at what happened. It just came to me. It was good. Thank you. <laughs> now I play the Sonic trick. Uh, Sonic movie will be great. I'm just kidding. I have total faith in Bill. Not honest. Yes, I'm being honest. I have total faith. <laughs> Call me a blind fan, boy. Boy, what do you want? But I have faith. <laughs> uh, but, um... Um, yeah. Now, you're gonna be shocked by the way I'm gonna give this. I've seen a lot more princess than Ethan has, because, obviously, I grew up with girl-type stuff. Don't hate me. I like Winks and Sailor Moon, okay? Uh, but, the way I give this one? Perfect 10. 10, 10. <laughs> yes, you heard me. Perfect 10. I... Don't give many movies that rating. Uh, come to think of it, I don't think I've given any movie that rating. So that's probably my first one. It's just because everything fit together to make such an amazing story. Again, I wish I could tell you all about it, but it is it, so many spoilers that I think Fig Lore would get mad at us. Well, I mean, yes. I mean, I know that some people out there who haven't seen the film yet, I'll tell you this, though. You're going to be in for the one of the one of the best sequels you'll see. That's coming through. Yes. And probably one of the best sequel sequels of the last decade. Yes, yes. I mean, there's other ones that were good, like Toy Story 4, and of course, some people are just like, that's just your opinion. <laughs> Incredibles 2? Oh, come on. It's not that terrible. Yeah. So, now we got, well, we got two things left. Me and Ethan will be going to the cinema to see the Game Awards. Yes, I know what you're thinking. You guys are crazy. And we waited, waited, waited in the freezing cold for the Nintendo Switch launch. Mm hmm. So, yeah, I mean. uh, uh, so I think I've done crazy enough. And don't tell my mom and dad this, but I actually walked through the cold snow for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, that, that's uh, that's crazy. And the second one, that's for me, folks, is I'm gonna go check out the last film in the year, Star Star Wars, Wars. Rise of the Jedi, ninth episode, the last thing in the trilogy. Okay, okay, I will have to have to repeat this again. Just to get over with, so you get it, okay? For those who don't know, if this movie ends up bombing, like th like it did with the eighth episode and the rest of the spin-offs of the Star Wars film, minus the game uh, games, games, not you, Battlefront One and Two, uh, and, and the TV shows, and don't don't no 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 guys, I'm not talking about the latest two things came out. Right now, not talking about that. It's before that. Yeah. Uh, then Ethan's out of this series. Well, at least movie wise. Period. Okay. Okay. How this goes, I'll explain these things myself. Emsley got the right details, but this is what I'm gonna say. Okay. So, if the night episode, the last trilogy, kind of bombs me again, <laughs> you know I'm gonna hate to say. Disney, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I am I am done with your all your film plans for the next trilogy and spin-offs, except for your TV shows and games. Those are the only things I give you. But other than that, no, you lose, you lose me, you lose all my support because not 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 all your support, but. The way you, you, way you, in other words, you lose his movie support. Yes, yes, like, Disney, <laughs> I, I hate to be honest myself, or, okay, Disney, EA, whoever is in charge of these things, you guys are, mm. You got a close shave, EA, a very close shave. You nearly lost Ethan. Had Star Wars for the Jedi Fallen Order not been a bad game, game Ethan probably would, would have dropped you like a bottle, dropped this one like a bottle too, but you got lucky. And so does the TV show. 
Well, TV show was going to be good no matter what. But honestly, I had faith. Uh, but yeah, I just need to see a last shot with some movies. If it ends up being good, mm -hmm. well, e as much as even it's a minute, he'll still watch them. Even though it's going to kill him. <laughs> but uh, if I end up being right, I'll fulfill my promises. Now there you go. Now, in addition to that, we also did a little small bet. So, if I end up being right and the movie's actually good, Ethan's got to play Pokemon Shield. Who, which he just started as of this video's recording, recording earlier today, uh, was only... Well, okay, so how this works is, we can work this out, maybe, how about this? Maybe through the, like, elite, like, you know, like, elite, uh, elite four? Yeah. Okay, so maybe do with that with around elite four. Yeah. With my two strongest Pokemon I get. That's it. Two strongest Pokemon. Get through there. You mean, uh, there's no League 4 of a number? Champions Tournament. And there's five trainers. Okay, never mind. Yep. <laughs> how, how about that? How about that? That's better. Uh, but, yeah. So, if I and if he ends up being right, though. He gets to play one of my fair games the whole time. <laughs> I'm the Wii U. Exuberant Chronicles 1. All the way through. Even with... <sighs> Shulk. <laughs> yep. Uh, I hope I end up being right on this. The last thing I want, want is to play through that game with... Manado Boy again. <laughs> I mean, come on. Well, hey, 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 hey. hey well, you, you said you would prefer getting the definitive edition, right? Okay. That's fair. I'll get the definitive edition to save myself the trouble of having to use Ethan's only Wii copy that he got from GameStop, which cost him about how much now? Yeah, it was like around eight bucks when I got that last copy of the game. <laughs> yeah, I think I ought to get the definitive edition instead. But that means I gotta beat it all the way through. Oh, man. Hey, take it this way. You're probably gonna like it more than the original because of the, the you know, they made the rule. Graphics. Why right, well, won't the Exome Chronicles 2 graphics? Okay. Other than that, that's it. I get I guess you got a point there. But we'll see we'll see who's right and who's wrong wrong when the movie comes out. But uh Okay, at least I've been I've been saying I hope the Frozen 2 is gonna be good. And then look at that. It did. <laughs> now let's see if Disney can get two for one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so maybe some people say it's gonna be good and some people are just like <laughs> I think it's mixed around it for last last uh, episode. Yeah. So yeah. Um. But uh, yeah. So uh, honestly, if you want to go see Frozen Two, go right ahead. It's a great eight movie. Um, one of Disney's best. The last Disney really animated Disney movie of the decade. Mm -hmm. Eight since twenty twenty is coming out uh, just around the corner, literally a month away. Um. So yeah. Okay, so just a real quick thing. Some of the upcoming videos that me and Ethan have planned uh, in terms of talking. So, as I said, Ethan will have a separate video. Uh, we'll probably have it at least closer to the new Star Wars film about his opinions about the last couple Star Wars movies. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And, oh, yes. So, you see, okay, so maybe I'll do make my own feels about that sometime. Yep. And well, just with the Star Wars and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, note that Ethan will only be talking about the movies and briefly the game and TV show show because this is mostly on that branch of Star Wars more than the games and TV shows because most of those have been pretty good. Yes, yes. Outside of two. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. Next one we'll we have planned. And, obviously, this one's coming next year. Uh, best Games of 2019. 
And honestly, I think we're going to have a hard time with this one, one choosing what Nintendo gets to put on this list. And also the, some PlayStation games and, and all those games. Oh, yes. Um, of course, we're going to have all of that. <laughs> okay, it still kept going. Okay, go on. I was just making sure. Uh, but yeah, so that will be one of our next, vi uh, next videos uh, for the first part of the year. Then... Following that, we have, have a couple edit videos that we plan to finish this year. We're going to be doing a redo of our top 30 best games of all time. Yes, which is, you know, might be sometime next year or... Well, 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 right now, this is an is TBA for that one. Yeah, it's something you even have to go through, go through, reorganize our list. Yes, yes. And you know what? Okay, I'll tell you something. There's a few more games coming up next year that me and him are going to figure out if these games can actually fit in this list here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but one we will for sure probably do and be able to catch up on and want to reiterate this year, Top 30 Worst Games. In the last decade, we played a good chunk of them and uh. We played a couple worse ones now. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately. Hey, we can't. They can't all be great. Yeah, I know. I know. Not great to all of us. Not for us. Not for them. Well, it's for them. Good for them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, again. Top 30 worst will probably be that. And of course, we can't do a top 30 worst of 2019 till next year because oh, this year isn't over yet. Yeah. So you know, we're gonna put this. Best games of the whole time and the worst games of the whole time on hold because honestly, there's a few more games coming in our faces next year. Yeah, well, we'll do it before March, March because that's when our cycle starts. Mm -hmm. Well, our true cycle starts. I mean, we have Dragon Ball Kakarot, but eh, honestly, that's an anime game, and no offense, but anime games technically kind of don't count. Mm, yeah, well, okay, but, uh... <laughs> uh, in my personal opinion, because, well, it's a rehash of, you know which story. Mm-hmm. The Dragon Ball fight, uh, Dragon Ball Z story, which Ethan has played and got bored of pretty much almost all the time. Yes, I know, but, um, we could count some anime games. But, uh, like, I, I was thinking maybe stuff that was previously released. Well, uh, yes, like, you know, Dragon Ball Fighter Z that will count because it's, it's a part of the original story. Yeah, obviously. Uh, so, that, uh, so, yeah. But anyways, uh, those will be next year. And we do have one, and I do have one more plan for this year. And that will be the top five best movies of the decade. Because... The decade's almost over. Well, we don't count those as anime movies in there. Unfortunately, because we're gamers. We're and anime lovers. There's going to be a little bias there, so we got to be honest honest about actual movies. Like Disney, or or few game movies, or certain things like that. Yeah. Why are we not counting, counting video game, but not anime? One... Me and Ethan are gamers. We know when the source material isn't good. Uh, two. Again, Ethan's biased with anime might get in the way with that, so we really gotta can't and count those. Not even what is One Piece Stampede. Not even Dragon Ball Super Brawly. Not even My Hero Academia. Two heroes. None of those movies. We're talking about Disney, DreamWorks, all these certain movies. Exactly. That will be be our movies of the decade. Decade because. Obviously, well, almost to the end of the decade, I want to at least get one more. And then we'll do our top five worst movies of the decade, which means the movies that were... Oh, you know, I do have a few few movies on the list already, if you ask me. Okay, well, for you, though. You can only choose one Star Wars movie. Well, yeah, it makes sense, because... Yeah, I think the fans already get this point. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, that will be uh, probably our last video of the decade, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I hope you look forward to those in next year. 
I hope you're ready for some countdowns because me and Ethan, well, we have a couple games that I'm really looking forward to talk about. Oh, oh, but I can tell you right now, my number one has not changed. Yep, it's still Final Memorial, shockingly. I, lo I love that game way too much for some reason still. Okay, okay, so... Are you talking like the best all the time? Yep. Okay, so, as you know, I'll give you a hint. One of the game has been knocked down from the list. Knocked like this! <laughs> <laughs> and one game certainly won so far. I'll give you a hint. The fighting game has lost its touch to a to an action-adventure game. That's all Ethan's gonna say without spoiling it. <laughs> As for worst, well, we gotta think that one through again because, honestly, we haven't played that many worst games this year. <laughs> and now, shockingly, one thing, guys. I used to hate that one number one top list. But then, I know I'll knock it out just for one, one little reason. The gameplay. How dare you! <laughs> yeah. I'm not telling you what game, though. That would be too surprising. I'm saving it for last. <laughs> good point. Good, uh, good idea, buddy. Good idea. Uh, uh, as for our uh, top, top 2019 list, I'll give you a hint. Hint to what my favorite is. It's a platformer. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but like I said, uh, we had, still had to go through that list. Any hints for your your uh, your list, bud? Yeah, so the list. You mean like all? Oh uh, no, your top top of uh, uh, your top games for 2019. Any hints for yours? Okay, so for for as for number one, number one should be the most obvious to you guys. But there's other games out there that will be shocking to you. Those of you who are not the fans of the one game, like once a game that everybody hates so much, and I don't get why. To me, I despite the hate. Yeah, yeah. For the one obvious game, anybody who's been on the channel long enough, or literally have not paid attention to Ethan's Twitter description, would know what we're talking about. Yes, yes, and that's gonna be one of the games. We'll be on that list. But that's all we're saying without spoiling it. Yes. So, yeah. There's some future plans for videos coming to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy those. So, um, yeah. Me and Ethan are going to be working on a list tomorrow, uh, uh, a little bit tomorrow, just to start getting to work on them so that way we'll be ready to record later. Uh, and, well, okay, Frozen. You're lucky. You just barely made the list of number one. What would the other four be, though? <laughs> well, Frozen 2. Man, I don't know how you can impress me with this one, Disney. I don't know how you can do that. <laughs> it's Disney. All right. That's all for now, guys. See you tomorrow. Well, see you next time. <laughs> this is yours truly, DJ Music Quiz. Ethan in, signing out. And y'all have a nice... Gaming night. And also check in the description for my last live stream I made last week. <laughs>